Hello and welcome to Guild Bytes. In this video, I'm going to show you a demonstration of our Guild Bytes POS Pro application. This application has been posted on Codesta uh, together with the source code uh, for you to purchase. So if you want to purchase, I'll put the link down below so that you can go there. So I'll show you how to set it up. So when you when you get your download, it's going to be a zip file in this form. So the first thing you need to do is to extract. So I'm just going to extract it right here. Okay. Once it is extracted, inside this, there is the source code, which is right here. And then I also have the I also compiled it. We also compiled it into an executable. So if you don't want to install any dependencies, you don't want to run from the source code, you can just run this and then the POS application will will run. So it will come up right now. So this is how it looks like. So it obviously looks like this. With, so you know so just a brief uh, overview if if you are interested in you know how to set up the source code you can please skip ahead but now I'm just going to show you basically uh, how this application works so obviously the first time there is nothing in here so you basically have to add items but before then you can see that the currency here is in Ghanaian cities, right? Now that's because that's the default that we set it to. So if you want to change it to your own currency, you can come to the settings here, and in here you can actually change the set. So you basically change this to your shop name. Let's call this my shop, and then maybe your contact. So this information will basically show up in your invoice. And so maybe. I want to pay me then you save settings updated then in the sales here so you basically uh, type in the name of the salesperson here so let's say they are called John Doe and then the currency so obviously there's only Ghanaian CD here now if you want to add your own currency you can add it here so you can basically follow this right so uh, if say you want to add the US dollars, so you can say United States dollar, and then the currency code will basically be USD, and the symbol we use HTML HTML5 uh, code to basically encode the symbols, right? So the one for dollar, the dollar sign is this three six. And the semicolon the semicolon is important now if you want to see uh, the code for your currency if it is not here you can you can look up this uh, navigate to this website you you get the list of all currencies and their codes so you you're basically feeling this so when we add them so once it's added currency added you can see it's added here so you can set it so that it's the currency is now in US dollars now if you want to remove so if you don't want the Ghanaian city to be there you can just remove it from here and it will be gone All right so you can basically come here and set USD and then save so once it's saved we can close it and you can see that once we come here the USD is set so we can now add an item so let's add item 1 some description just in a description here and then we can put in our pricing so quantity 500 and then we save all right and let's add one more item item 2 now you don't need to fill in this but if you don't fill in the unit price and the quantity it will give you an error it will it will tell you unit price is required so but, and if you enter alphabets it will give you it will tell you to use valid characters obviously so 
let's say this 35 and then the quantities to similarly right so the quantities required and you need to use valid characters so let's say we have 500 of these and then we can save okay let's add the third one one that we can delete so let's call this item 4 um, description to be deleted and some values here save so if you want to delete this you just click and then you click delete and it deletes it okay and once we've added whatever we want you can close it now and then you can come down here and say refresh so once you refresh the table all the items show up here okay so if you want to actually make a sale you can double click on this and it will it will be added to the cart all right if you double click on the same one again which is already in the in the invoice you'll see that item already in the invoice you can adjust the quantity and then you'll see that it, it automatically shows here if you don't want it you can delete it and it's gone you can add it again you can add two so 10 and let's say we want 20 of these so you can see it automatically updates and payment to be made a thousand right and you can also you know type in the customer name so let's say new customer and their contact is this one two three name and then complete sales so this is essentially the print preview okay so remember this is the sales manager so right here you can actually change this to your sales person so let's close this and go back to the settings sales we can change this so let's call it john do and save close so if we come back to complete the sales you'll see that the sales person changes to this okay and you can see this goes so you can decide to print or sell without printing whichever one you want let's print it and see how it looks like so i'm going to i don't have a printer connected so i'm going to print it to a pdf so that you'll see how it looks like so let me put it in pictures I'm just going to call this test print and save. And once it's done, it says sales completed. And once the sale is completed, you can see that we have them in the sale right here. So here you can you can check the invoice. So this is the sale that we just made. And if they didn't make full payment, they can't really make the payment here. And also you can filter you can filter so if we change this to this 21 and then we filter obviously there will be nothing and so if you change it to 20 second and it will appear and you can see that these also show okay so this is basically uh, how the application works all right so now let us go back if however you want to build it from source so you can see that there it uses sqlite database so it's automatically generated and you can see it's right here so basically if you delete this it will reset everything okay so back here in your extracted folder you can see that we have a requirements.txt file right here we can actually uh, install all the dependencies from here so what we need to do is we need to navigate to this folder now I use a, a, a virtual environment so I'm going to activate my virtual environment if you use a virtual environment too, you need to activate it if not you can just install it straight away so first I'm just going to go back to my virtual environment Just going to activate this 
okay once it is activated then I will navigate to this CD and then I'm in so from here I want if, if you want to install all the dependencies you need to install pip install R because we are going to install from the requirements.txt so we are going to pass the requirements.txt like so requirements.txt and once we run it it's going to go through and run all the files okay i made a mistake so requirements.txt okay i spelled it wrong again Let's say DIR. Okay. I think I sort of named it dot txt dot txt. So let's just do it that way. Dot txt. My bad. I made it that way. But in any case, uh, you make you make sure you you know run it like that. Okay. So it'll go through and run everything and. I already have most of them installed that is why it does this so once everything is installed we can navigate to the source folder and then run sorry inside the source folder we have this main file that is what we will run so we can just say python dash dash main and then once we run it we'll see that our application loads And it loads like normal okay so we can actually you can open this uh, the source code in your in your favorite editor so I use sublime so you can see the files right here and you can see the files here so if you don't like the database being put in the the current location you can actually change the location right here and it'll it'll basically store it in your favorite location okay so this is basically the demo if you have any confusion any questions just leave leave it down in the comments or send an email i'll put all of those information in the links down below thank you very much and thank you very much again for purchasing and if you haven't purchased, please go to Codesta and purchase the source code as well as the executable. Okay, thank you.